Hi guys. Um, I'm going to wait to see if this is working before I start our craft. Okay, I hope everybody can see me. Okay, hi guys, I'm Pebbles, and today I'm going to be making a pufferfish craft with you guys. So this is the craft we're making. I made a little example, it's pretty cute. So I'm gonna teach you how to do that. So I just wanna start off with letting you guys know that, so this week a lot of our crafts are going to be animal themed since it is animal week. So it's gonna be super simple and I hope you guys enjoy and have fun following along. So we're just gonna need a few materials. So you're gonna need obviously a plate. You can use a paper plate. I just have a styrofoam plate. Um, you're going to need black paint, white paint, as well as just any fun colors that you want. I have teal and orange here with me. You're gonna need a paintbrush. You're going to need some scissors. Remember that if you're using scissors to have your parents present with you, just making sure so you're being super safe with your scissors. And then just any kind of tape or glue just to make it stick. Okay. So I'm going to start off with just jumping right into the shape of our pufferfish craft. So you guys can see that, oh, I'm holding it up for them. Our pufferfish craft has one main plate and then two little fins. So the way that I'm going to do this is I'm going to first start off with one plate. I'm going to take my scissors, remembering to make sure I'm being super safe, and I am going to cut these little triangles out to make these spikes for the pufferfish. So pufferfish are pretty cool because they kind of change shape when they are scared. So what I'm going to start off with doing is just cutting one line into this and then making a triangle cutting it like that and that's basically it i'm going to do this all the way around the plate so yeah remember that if you guys ever want me to slow down or something isn't really making sense just put it in the comments and i will for sure read it and try to make sure everything is super easy for everybody also, if you just want to comment anything about the craft or about something you want to chat about, that's totally fine. Just going in like that. I have them about like one, like almost like a finger length apart. You can make them as wide as you want. Or if you want to make them closer together, that's totally fine. Just doing that. So sometimes it, they just kind of get stuck. If you just pull lightly, that should be good. Remember to not keep the scissors too close to your face. So you just want to be super safe. Yes, I'm just pulling this like this. So you can see I've done half of my plate. Now I'm going to do the other half. Keep on going. I'm cutting first just because once we use paint, it will take a while to dry. So I find it easier to paint this and just let all the drying happen together at the end so I can have my craft all done and just wait for it to dry. Pulling this out like this. Yeah. Any of you guys watching, do you guys know why pufferfish get all puffy? Because if you've ever seen a picture of them, they're actually not always puffed up. They have two different ways that they are. So they're you the ones that you guys see like the ones that we're making and there's normal pu when they're there's puffer fish when they're normal and they're kind of deflated i don't know if anybody knows why that happened yeah 
So, if you guys want to leave a comment, I don't know if you can hear it, but since I'm using a styrofoam plate, you can hear all the cuts. It sounds kind of funny. my last one. So now that I have this, I'm going to actually just put this to the side. I'm going to take another plate. So since I've already made one, I had half of a leftover plate from my example. So what I'm going to do is you want to make these fins. So you kind of want it to be, let's say like this face, honestly your choice how thick you want the fins to be, but it's going to be the same thing as you were doing here. So you know how I cut tiny little triangles? With this one, you just want to be cutting a big triangle like that. It kind of looks like a slice of pizza. And then I'm just going to do that twice. So I can have two things. Yep. So just like that. And that's actually basically all I'm going to need my scissors for. So I'm going to put them in a safe space and put them away. So now what I'm going to do is put these to the side because I don't need them quite yet. I'm going to take my main plate and what I'm going to do is paint. So I'm going to take my paintbrush. Um, I'm using this teal color. I think it's really fun and it reminds me of fish in the water. So I'm doing that. I'm just going to first paint this whole puffer fish. So what you can do is actually, so you know how I have this much of the paper plate left over? You can just put a little bit of your paint on there as a place to hold your paint, or you can just put it straight onto your craft, whatever you'd like. And then I'm just gonna take, I have a water bottle here with water in it for uh, my paint. It's a good way you can clean your paintbrush. So you can just dip that in and kind of just go for it. There's no real, way you have to paint you can just have fun with it and go for it paint all over if you want you can do multiple colors i'm going to show you a design that we're going to use with a different color but if you want to do more than one color on your puffer fish that's totally fine keep on painting yeah so today's actually our first day of virtual summer camp, which is pretty exciting. It is totally new, and I know everybody is going to take a little bit of time getting used to, but we are going to be posting every single day, whether it be a Facebook Live or it be a video on Facebook. So remember to watch those. Today, one of our leaders, Guppy, he, went, he posted a video making a bird feeder is pretty cool so maybe after this craft you guys can go check that out make that if you guys are following along with me remember to take a picture of what you make and then post it on facebook and tag us at greenway chaplain and also remember to use the hashtag virtual summer 2020 just so we have a place where we can have all of our you know cool art so yeah you can see it's kind of getting there and just painting it all over. You can also paint these little spikes. Painting can be pretty fun. It's a good way to have something to do and, you know, be creative. It's fun to be creative. Yeah. So I'm just painting all over. Thank you, Nemo. He said I'm doing a great job. That means a lot. I know a lot of us might be missing summer camp, but I hope with these videos, you guys are able to kind of get a little bit of a taste of that at home, which is pretty cool. You know, everybody's staying home, being safe. So we're trying our best to still be active and do crafts and kind of still have a center that you can remember. So yeah. So, paint, paint, paint. 
What color are you guys painting your puffer fish? I was looking at pictures of puffer fish and actually there's they're not all the same color. So there's some puffer fish that are greenish gray. There's some that are more orange. And then mine is teal. So clearly they can be any color you want. Yeah. I'm just going around doing that. Painting all these pieces. So just going around. Since it is Animal Week this week, there's going to be a lot of different crafts and games you guys can see that have to do with, you know, different types of animals. This is an underwater animal. There's going to be some other crafts that you can do with other types of animals. Let me know what your favorite animals are, guys. I know that there's so many different types. I really like giraffes. I think they're really cool. And I love going to African Lion Safari during summer camp and seeing them. Because they're so tall. And you, when you get to see them in real life, you don't realize how high you have to look to see them. It's crazy. Oh, we just have a few more at the bottom. It doesn't have to be perfect. My paint surely isn't, but I'm having a lot of fun, and that's all that really matters. Nemo's favorite animal is a red winged blackbird. That's pretty cool. I know a lot of people do bird watching and kind of know a lot about birds. That's pretty cool. Nemo, you're also a nature person, so that makes sense. Maybe you see a lot of birds on when you're camping and stuff. Okay, so kind of, I've left this ring around my puffer fish for a reason, actually, because one of the things we're going to do is take a second color, and we're going to color these lines in with that other color. So I'm using this little orange I have. I'm putting it on that little plate, like a little paint palette, just like that. And I'm just gonna go in and paint it all the way around. You can use the same paintbrush, that's what I'm gonna do. You know, just take a tissue, clean it off. Um, guys, if there's ever any suggestions you guys have for things you want to see, remember we're always here to listen. So if there's anything you want to recommend, you can leave it in the comments or you can send us a message and we would gladly look into it and kind of figure out a cool way to show you guys how to do that activity. So, yeah. Can we Painting the spikes orange. I think orange and teal look pretty cool together. They're fun colors. Just like that. There's not too many instructions for this craft, which makes it pretty good to do on a Monday. Lots of fun. And if you guys are doing this with your siblings or maybe with your mom and dad, anybody in the house, you guys can do different colors and then put them together. So I'm gonna finish this. If, I, if ever I'm going too fast or you want me to repeat anything, just let me know. Thanks, Guppy. Yes, this is a very Guppy color. Our one of our leaders, Guppy, you guys, if you know him, you know he loves the color teal. So, yeah, and it's fitting because it's an underwater animal just like guppies are. So I ran out of orange. I'm just going to put a little bit more on that plate.
Okay, so that's kind of all of them around. There we go. Yeah, now while this is drying, you can just set it on the table, take your fins, and I'm going to paint these orange as well. So just kind of this much. This side is like right here is going to be hidden behind the plate. So it doesn't really matter. I'm just gonna take this and quickly paint all the way over it. Yeah. So with our virtual programming, our virtual summer camp, a lot of people got our adventure boxes, which is really exciting. You'll have all the materials to do a lot of these crafts and activities. Mondays are craft days. So on Monday, there will always be a craft video or Facebook Live up. So you can start off your Monday being creative. So this is my first one. Hard to see, but yeah, there you go. So I'm just gonna put it to dry and then I'm gonna do my second one right here is hiding from me. If you want, like, this is the thin. I'm just going to put some orange on here just so it's easier to paint. Just like that. I'm just going to set these to dry. They should dry pretty quick. If you're using paper plates, they'll probably dry even quicker than the styrofoam ones. Now I'm just looking at my puffer fish and it's actually pretty dry. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take the black and white paint and I'm gonna draw these, this face on this one. So all you wanna do is I also just put on some black, oh, you can't really see the white paint, but yeah. I'm gonna take a paintbrush and some white paint, and I'm just gonna draw some circles kind of anywhere you want. And you can start off the first one anywhere. Just make a big circle. You know what's fun is that these don't have to be perfect. It's actually funnier when, oh, there it is. When there are kind of cross-eyed, they kind of look funny. Nemo said, orange, black, and white are my colors. That is true. We have two fish in the Greenway Summer Camp family. We have Nemo and Guppy. Nemo, if you make this craft, you can kind of make it look like a Nemo, which is pretty cool. So I'm just going to take some more white paint. You can always add more paint if you guys want. Kind of go crazy with it. Make a pattern if you'd like. I'm going to put the other one right next to it. Doesn't even have to be the same size if you don't want. Kind of. There we go. <laughs> you can see they already kind of look crazy. Now what I'm going to do is actually I'm going to take the back of this paintbrush because it's already a circle. I'm going to dip it in my black paint and I'm just going to make the circle. Pretty simple. Do the same thing on the other eye. I'm going to put this one here. He looks totally wacky. Just like that. Oh, there's a lot of light. It's kind of hard to see. I'm missing. There we go. There we go. Now, actually, what we can do is take the side of the paintbrush used for the white again and make kind of a smaller circle in the middle under the two circles. So just like that. And then take the back of your paintbrush again that has the black paint, dip it in some more black paint and make a little shocked face. See? So puffer fish, they puff up when they get shocked, when they get scared, stuff like that. So that's kind of what we're doing. What you can do, I'm gonna take a tissue, clean off the back of my paintbrush that had the black in it. I'm gonna dip it in some white paint. Oh. And we're just gonna add a bunch of dots all over our pufferfish because pufferfish have spikes and 
lots of dots on them. So we're just going to kind of do that. See, they don't have to be the same size. Kind of put them all over the place. Just like that. Um, what should we name this pufferfish, guys? If you guys have any ideas, comment it. And we can give this pufferfish a name. So that's my main part of my pufferfish. Now what we're going to do is all we have left is just to stick the fins on the side. So I'm going to take my fins. Hopefully your fins have dried by now. These are almost dry, actually. What I'm going to do is take some tape. So you can use glue if you'd like, you can use any kind of tape, anything that really sticks them together. So I'm using this tape, Packers tape, and then you can just, if you want to use your scissors, very carefully with a parent or someone, some adult present, just cut that. And I'm going to put it like this. And I'm just going to kind of see where I want to put it, right here. Okay. Ooh, I put the tape down. So you want to put the tape on the side that doesn't have the paint so it sticks together. Now I'm just going to turn it around. Put that right there. Stick it together. And there, I have one fin on. Now I'm going to do the same thing with the second, cut some more tape. There we go. Oops. Remember when you're using scissors to be very slow, there's no rush. You do not want to hurt yourself. I'm also just putting the tape right there. Taking it, kind of seeing where I want it to go. So I'm going to put it over here. And then you can just flip it over and stick it on. Oh, going crazy. And that is basically our whole craft. So as you can see, I got a little paint on my face. But that is our pepper fish. I'm going to name him... Herman, Herman the Pufferfish. This is him. This is the other one I've made. Kind of how they look. It was pretty simple, and I hope you guys found it easy to follow along. Yep. So if you guys do make a pufferfish craft with supplies at home, please remember to take a picture, post it on Facebook or any of our like any of the social medias and tag greenway as well as virtual summer 2020 so we can hopefully see your fun craft yeah thank you guys so much for watching remember that tomorrow we have guppy going live at 11 with um an elephant's breath activity so he's going to show us how to do that it'll be pretty cool so i hope you guys enjoyed this and I will hopefully see you guys soon. Remember to keep an eye out for Greenway's Facebook page. We will be posting a lot.